what is happening guys today I will be showing you the top 10 exposed modules that I believe are the most useful and they provide the most amazing experience on your Android device. Let's begin this video. So you're probably wondering what is exposed framework? Well, Exposed Framework is an application that allows you to make changes to your system UI without modifying your ROM. So in other words, this application allows you to pick and choose a certain amount of features to install onto your Android device without flashing. So let me show you how to install this onto your phone. First, it's always a good idea to make a backup of your current Android software. Next, I need you to download the APK from the link in the description of this video and install it onto your phone, and it's called Exposed Framework. Then I need you to open it up and choose Framework. Then choose Install slash Update. And last but not least, you need to reboot your Android device to have it work. Great, now I can actually begin the video. I will be showing you what I believe are the best Android modules out there as of right now. Please note that some of the modules didn't work for my Android device running Android 4.4.2, but nonetheless, let's begin with number 10. At number 10, we have Instagram Downloader. Well, the title pretty much says it all, but if you have an Instagram and you want to download a picture, just tap on the three little buttons on the bottom right edge of each picture and select the option download. Now you can go into your gallery and you will see the picture yourself right then and there. By the way, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at HowToMen. Oh, and another thing, if you want to install a module such as Instagram Downloader, open up Expose Installer, then click on Download, and then search up Instagram Downloader. If for whatever reason it doesn't show up, I will provide an APK for each module in the link in the description of this video because each module is just like an application. Over time there will be updates for the application so you can upgrade the modules in the future. Okay back to the video. At number 9 we have KeepChat. For all of those who use Snapchat, this is a great app for you. Not only does this module allow you to save the pictures sent to you, but it can also save full length videos as well. So now your friends won't know that you have their embarrassing pictures saved onto your phone. At number 8, I would like to introduce Exposed Recent Task RAM. It's a long name but a small modification. This module allows you to add a bar at the top of your recent tasks showing the amount of used RAM and how much RAM you have left. Next up we have Master Key Multifix and this module allows you to patch several different security issues when installing apps from the browser or any other sources that are not included in the Play Store. Once it is installed onto your phone, you won't need to do anything else because it automatically patches all the security issues. At number 6 we have X Volume Skip Track. It allows you to control your music player with your volume rocker and one of the options you can enable is that you can have the option of having the top volume skip to the next track and the bottom volume go to the previous track. This makes it faster and easier to switch between your songs and your music player when your phone is locked. Taking a look at number 5, I present to you YouTube Ad Away. This is a simple exposed module to help you get rid of YouTube ads and country restrictions towards a video. You can also remove the branding layers such as the channel's logo and the video suggestions in your YouTube application. Up next we have Boot Manager. Now this app allows you to select which apps can start on boot when you boot up your Android device. This provides for a faster boot up and conserves battery because you don't have to have any application starting up when you turn on your phone. It's a great way to conserve battery. At number 3 we have per app fonts. Now this module allows you to have individual fonts for each individual app. This comes with 8 fonts pre-installed. Or you can add fonts of your choosing and if you change an app font you don't need to reboot. But you do need to kill the application first and then launch it and then the font will change in the application. At number 2 we have Gravity Box. Now this module is an all-in-one toolbox with various tweaks for your lock screen, notification, navigation buttons, and other various features to add to your ROM. Also, this will not work on TouchWiz ROMs, HTC Sense ROMs, and MIUI ROMs. Only stock Android. So taking a look at the main features, you can edit the lock screen such as showing a battery arc around the unlock ring, maximize widgets, and much more. With the status bar tweaks, I really enjoy how you can customize every single feature, such as the quick tile settings, the status bar colors, the notification drawer, the clock settings, the battery indicator, and the fact that you have Pi controls. There's so much more that you can do, but I won't get into every aspect. But the fact that this mod is incompatible with most ROMs out there and most Android platforms, it makes it at number 2. 
But the best module that I believe is the most responsive and hasn't given me any problems is called Zui Mod. And what this module does, it provides you with a small collection of unique features ported from other ROMs. For example, in the notification you can add seconds in the clock. You can also add a battery bar, which shows you how much battery you have left at the top of the screen, and when it charges it has a really nice animation that I really enjoy. So like I said before, all of the modules will be down in the description to download. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it gives me inspiration to keep on making these videos. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to get the most out of your Android phone. I also have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you want to go check it out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!